How's it going, everybody? Arthur Reyes here, Warners and Warners.com, and today we have one NBA parlay that we're creating for the Tuesday, so Wednesday, November 1st, 2023 slate of games. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you guys quickly about a promotion that we are running over at Warners and Warners.com, where you guys can save 65% off on all my packages until further notice if you use the promo code J3Q. RDF65. That's all one word, no spaces. Make sure to go check out my profile as well as some of our other top performers. As in addition to this video that you guys get for free on YouTube.com, you guys get access to my written picks as well as what I'm betting on throughout the day so you guys can always stay in the loop. In addition, we have a link in the description below. It's a link to all of our affiliate sportsbook promotional signups. So if you guys are in the market for a new sportsbook or if you guys just want to take advantage of some free bonus bets, make sure to go check that out. The link is very simple. It shows you which sportsbooks we offer. A bon which bonus bet you'd get for each sports book and the link to go sign up. You guys get those bonus bets and we get the affiliate bonus. So everybody wins at the end of the day. So the first game we're discussing is the one and two Brooklyn Nets heading down to Miami to take on the one and three Miami Heat. Uh so both teams have been struggling a little bit. Uh the <clears throat> excuse me, the Miami Heat have been dealing with some road games. They are on a three-game losing streak after losing to Boston, Minnesota, and Milwaukee, going 0-3 on that road trip. Uh, there's a lot of injuries in this game. So for the Nets, they already have ruled out Cameron Johnson and Nick Claxton, while uh, Caleb Martin for the Heat is ruled out. But we have Bam Adebayo, Jimmy Butler, uh, and Spencer Dinwiddie all as game-time decisions. I just like this Nets team. I think Cam, Tom Cam Thomas is really stepping up this season. Uh, showing that he could be an elite scorer, uh, even as that main guy. I think Mikael Bridges is going to step up. I really like this Nets team to play defense. Right now, you can get the Nets plus six, so I think that is the play for this game. The next game that we're discussing is the New Orleans Pelicans, who are 2-1, and one, taking on the 3-1 and one Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, this is going to be an interesting game because both teams are very good. Uh, right now, Brandon Ingram is a game-time decision for the Pelicans. I really like this uh, this Oklahoma City team. I think they're really playing well as a young group together. Uh, the duo of Chet Holmgren and of Shea Gildress Alexander. Even if you want to add the trio, we had Josh Giddy in there. I just think they have a lot of firepower. If Brandon Ingram's out, that's a big blow for this Pelicans team. Uh, I just think this Oklahoma City team is young. They're fast. They're going to play well. Uh, they are grabbing rebounds pretty decently. So all in all, I'm going to go with Oklahoma City minus three and a half to cover the spread here. <clears throat> and then finally, we have the Indiana Pacers traveling to the TD Garden to take on the Boston Celtics. Indiana's two and one. While well, Boston is an undefeated 3-0. Uh, look at the injury report. There's nobody ruled out as of now. There's a few game time decisions. I just think this Boston Celtics team is dominating. I think they're going to dominate here. They have arguably the most talent in the NBA. Uh, this team has won by... Or has increased their winning margin each of the three games that they played this season. I just think this Indiana team is young. They're playing well together. I just think they have not faced a buzzsaw that is the Boston Celtics yet. I mean, if you look at their three games on the year, they have faced Washington, Cleveland, and Chicago. They're not matching up to this uh, to this Boston team. So go with Boston minus 11.5. I know it's a big number, but I feel like they can cover that. So again, we're going Brooklyn plus six. We're going Oklahoma City plus three and a half. We're going Boston minus 11 and a half to cover the spreads in their game. That's all I have for you guys. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.